We are going to Banff, Alberta today with our friends Ali and Meow. Attila is here behind the camera. <laughs> we are matching, but it was not planned. FYI. Calgary about 40 kilometers in we took a detour to Grotto Canyon which has a nice lake waterfall and some pretty cool trails we are looking for a waterfall it may or may not exist we don't know where it's at but we're exploring and we're hoping we don't get mauled by bears as well because there are bears in this area so we definitely have to keep an eye out and there's no signs to say if there is a waterfall here or not, but Google says there is. So we're just kind of exploring right now, trying to find it, but there's a trail, so we're pretty sure that... It might lead somewhere cool. Hopefully lead somewhere cool, yeah. But you're never going to find it if you don't explore, right? That's what they say. Alright guys, so as you can see, we kind of climbed the mountain a little bit. We couldn't quite locate the waterfall but we're about to try to fly the drone and have a little better look out and see what's going on. Also, we're exhausted and sweating. Look at how much we hiked down, or up, I should say. Where we came from that lake. We came from that lake all the way over there. And we got a ways to go. But when love, you love it, you can control it. You make me feel something more stronger, something that I may never forget. I just want this to be longer, longer, yeah, longer. into the car from the hike we just did at Grotto Canyon. We didn't end up finding the waterfall we were looking for because Meow ended up find, looking on the map and it was like two or three kilometers away from where we were and we had already hiked a pretty far uh, distance and we were sweating and it was pretty steep so we still have to get to Banff um, and Lake Louise so we gave up on the hike. It was still very beautiful. Um, definitely recommend it but if you're not an experienced hiker it was kind of difficult. The hike was pretty uh, difficult, huh? Yeah, guys. So basically, my theory is, well, it's not even a theory, it's actually what I believe, but no growth happens in your comfort zone, so it's okay to push yourself a little bit, but still make sure to be safe doing it. We just got to, not even into Banff, we're trying to get into Banff, but look at how long this line is. Everyone yeah. is turning around, and honestly, we are about to, to, and go to Lake Louise or try to go to Lake Louise. And it is almost 1 p.m., 12.56, on a Sunday. So. So as you guys saw, unfortunately, we couldn't go to Banff. I've already been once before, so it's fine for me, but Zay has never been, which kind of made me sad that she's unable to check it out. But we're at Lake Louise now, we just stopped, and we're super hungry, so we're gonna go grab a quick meal, and then we're gonna show you guys um, Lake Louise over here and of course we have the masks on because you already know on the very so the place we stopped to eat at is called Lake Louise Village Grill and Bar and to say that we're super hungry would be a complete understatement because all of our stomachs are hurting we haven't ate anything yet and it's almost uh, I don't know almost two o'clock I guess 
I was expecting the garlic to be on something like that. We just that. got our food, guys. We have um, yeah, I have a soup, for one. soup, <laughs> salad, soup with a lot of crackers in it. All day breakfast over here. Okay, so we made it to Lake Louise, guys, and. Just a little tip when you're coming here, make sure if you want to get parking, come early because the parking lot is pretty much always full otherwise. And it takes quite a long time to find parking and they we actually make you, the yeah, they make you drive up the mountain and they make you go all the way back down and loop around as many times as it would take for parking spots to free up. So just a heads up. There are people like right there controlling the parking lots and it's quite difficult to park but we finally made it and we're on our way taking this little trail, quite beautiful trail right here up to Lake Louise. Let's go! This cottage was built in 1920 to home Swiss uh, guides hired to lead hotel guests safely up the mountains. The Fairmont Chateau is a beautiful hotel right on Lake Louise where you can stay. It's also a ski resort in the winter time for anyone interested. There are a couple ski slopes around here. Um, a it, couple. Yes, <laughs> a few. A few. Uh, it's, been, it's been around since the 1920s and it's one of the most beautiful places to stay with a very old Victorian style uh, layout on the inside. But honestly, I'm not sure if I will stay here. The view is pretty uh, disgusting here. Pretty bad view. Disgustingly beautiful. Yes, it is absolutely gorgeous. I'm obviously, if you guys can afford it, because I'm sure it's not too cheap. We haven't seen the prices, but if you guys can afford it, it's million dollar view, clearly. Okay, so unfortunately we didn't have a whole bunch of time today because we drove a lot and we also went to Banff and tried to access that but unfortunately we weren't able to and as you guys saw we went for a little hike before this as well. So and it's also going to take us two hours to get back home so we just want to relax today because we do have a long what day happened? tomorrow and uh, yeah we're on our way back to drive home right now and <laughs> enjoy. If you guys do want to make it into Banff, which is a town a lot similar to Jasper with a bunch of little shops and a background of the mountains, uh, be sure to go there early in the day because there was a huge lineup of cars when we tried to go and you would have probably been waiting at least an hour to even try to get into the town. And if you are coming to Lake Louise, be sure to come here as early as you can if you don't want anybody here, you want nice pictures or whatever it is that you're coming for. Um, the sunrise here is really beautiful, people say as well but it is very, very touristy. Like there's barely any room to walk and apparently it's a slow day here, according to our friend Ali. Um, but yeah, just be sure of that if you do plan on coming here. Things to expect to see on the side of the road. What is this? Chicken? No. <laughs> Let's make sure we don't get rammed because I'm pretty sure they're rammed. Yeah, this is so cool. Are these rammed? Yeah, they if you are. know what they are, comment down below. I think they're ram. <laughs> I'm not sure what they are. That's so cool. Mountain goats, ram. Nature. That's what it is. That's what they call it, eh? Look at this super sh cute shot glass I got yesterday when we were in Jasper. It has a moose on it and it says, hanging out in Jasper. Let's see that moose over here. I like to collect shot glasses everywhere I go because it's just my thing and I thought this was super adorable. We got it at a gift shop. It's super cute. So after having a fantastic day at Lake Louise, Miao and Ali treated us to hot pot, which is a Chinese cooking method um, with a simmering pot where you add your ingredients as you go and they cook and you can grab one out at a time and put it in your bowl and eat. 
it was very delicious there was a variety of different meats and vegetables and Mia was nice enough to set it all up for us it was delicious Attila and I loved it so much that we decided to buy our own off of Amazon okay so thanks for watching guys and I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and there's a lot more coming so make sure you guys stay tuned hit the subscribe button like and leave your comments on what you think and what we should check out next time we come here or if you know of any school cool spots that we haven't seen before and yeah <laughs> see you in the next one